Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Roseanne and for today's video, I figured we could do like a little bit of a vlog. I'm on my way on a trip. So anyways, with well, that's what we're going to be doing today. But before we get into that video, I would love, love, love. <laughs> I was gonna make you guess, but I guess the cats have a bag. I would love, love, love for you to subscribe to my channel. You can ring the bell, it will give you notifications of when I post, which is every Tuesday and every Saturday. So, yep, like, make comments, tell your friends, subscribe, help a newbie out. I would so, so appreciate your support, and thank you so, so much for helping me grow this channel. And I would help you do Let's get started. Once we settled in, our first stop was at the Peabody Hotel. It is the most grandest, most legendary hotel in Memphis. I mean, look at this beautiful, beautiful view from the hotel rooftop. This was a very quick trip, so I only brought a few products. Now, you know I love to pack multi-use products. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look of Love in a Palette. I love it because it has everything you need. A bronzer, blush, powder, and eyeshadows. I did grab the Natasha Denona Trio Palette, but this one was a holiday promotion and I can't find it anywhere. It was part of the Midsize Retro Palette. You know I had to bring the Natasha Denona concealers, they're super great. I also grabbed the e.l.f. bronzing drops. I also took the Fenty Soft Lit Natural Luminous Foundation because it claimed to be long wearing, medium coverage, waterproof, sweat resistant, and boy did I need it. My favorite Makeup Forever lip liner in Endless Cacao, of course, with the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Kim KW. Essence Eyeliner, the Give Eyeliner because you know I love a little shimmer under my eyes, and the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Off to Graceland we go.
Right, guys so i am back home just showered it was a very quick getaway my daughter and i left on friday i don't know if i said that in the beginning it's been a long weekend we left on friday we came back this morning we took the 6 25 a.m flight home i am like so tired i must have slept all stick and day i'm gonna just put even though it's like what six o'clock now i'm ready for bed i'm gonna just put on all my night skincare you know 
I'm I kind of felt heavy hearted the whole time. I, I, I don't know. I just felt a, uh, like a certain way, but I I did not expect the magnitude of Graceland. It was so magnificent. If you guys get a chance to go, um, listen, if my daughter wasn't a diehard Elvis fan at 22, I would have never gone. I'm going in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to mix, you know, the usual girl, the it confidence in the cream. I'll put that in the palm of my hand. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Neutrogena Retinol Pro 0.5% power serum i love this serum i just take a little dropper like maybe half of it quarter of it put it in my hand and I mix them together but anyway i did not i don't know what to expect i really didn't i thought it was just the mansion like where he and his family are buried and like the pictures don't do it justice and it's probably like a quarter of what we saw and then like the museums and then like like his father's barbecue, his mother's like diner. It just went on and on and on and on and on. The rest of it I just put on my hands. I was, it, it was breathtaking. It was breathtaking slash heartbreaking slash like the same way I felt when I watched the movie. Heartbroken, like my God, we perpetuated it because we loved him so much. We wanted him so much. I mean, I was a kid. I think I was like maybe eight when he died nine same age as his daughter i think we we're born in the same year i'm going to go in with the ole hendrickson um wrinkle blur eye gel cream i just pump a tiny tiny bit like mini pumps because i'm not going to waste it Put a little bit underneath my eye of course my skin is extra dry from the airplane i didn't drink enough um but anyway um but, you know, who doesn't know Elvis? Come on. Who doesn't know him? I felt, I felt like, I felt like, I felt like legit, I was at, like, his wake. Like, it just happened. And then looking at, anyway, I'm just going on and on. I just have a bunch of emotions, but it was so magnificent. And I don't know what's going on with uh, Priscilla and the granddaughter and all that good stuff and blah, blah, blah. I just take a tiny, tiny bit, like, to go on, on my eyelids. But, um figure it out because let me tell you priscilla oh she did a magnificent like it's like it was almost like a to me it was almost like a premonition hello baby boy it was almost like a premonition if you will that they saved everything every piece of paper like every receipt like when we were shown like his office like granted like the rotary phones but like every little piece of paper um, that he was working on everything. Everything was put in place. And actually, we were talking to one of um, the security guards. He was so nice. Can't remember his name, but he was telling us exactly like he was playing racquetball that night at this exact spot. And it was this night that he died. And he was he went to go talk. Called somebody. I don't know who he was talking about, but he said he you know he couldn't sleep. Told him to come over. It was one o'clock in the morning. Like he gave us like all the personal like details if you will but um what's going on here i don't know i'm a whole bunch of rush but um yeah um i have a that's it you see that i'm like digging you know i love my say lip lip plumping gloss i have five thousand of these by the way but even like um you know you're not allowed upstairs um you're not allowed upstairs but even like this guard said if like upstairs not that he's been there but he's heard from like you know personal people i guess it's only people have who have been up there non-family members i think was austin butler because of the movie and i think the director producer gave him like 10 minutes to just be in there or look around which i really don't agree with but whatever i digress who the heck am i but anyway they said like everything is exactly the way it was the night that he died like nothing has moved um nothing has changed it, it it's like they did not t like who who would have thought like who would have thought to leave everything in place but anyway it was a beautiful beautiful experience beautiful and i'm sure we probably had so much more to see but p.s it's been hot as blazes i don't know what you guys are but it was a scorcher but anyway so that is it guys this is my video something different 
hope you enjoyed it of course the makeup that i had on which by the way i know i said that in the middle of the um video that fenty soft lit luminous foundation I was sweating bullets but anyway i will leave all the makeup that i had on below a couple of them of course that you can't buy anymore but sorry about that that's what i grabbed but anyway so that is it guys this is my video thank you so so much for sharing your time with me and as always you guys be good to each other love each other and have a great great day bye